First, they compared parents to domestic terrorists. Now we're learning of another teachers union doing the dirty work for Democrats. Fox News has learned that just after the National School Boards Association sent that infamous letter to the White House in which it compared parents to domestic terrorists, America's largest educators union sent a very similar letter to social media giants, urging them to, quote, stifle propaganda about critical race theory and describe parents in these terms, quote, the alarming growth of a small but violent group of radicalized adults who falsely believe that graduate level courses about racism are being taught in K through 12 public schools because of misinformation spread on social media. Jesse, parents will not be silenced, and this teachers union is awfully dumb for a bunch of educators to think that they can do that. They're whining to the refs like losers do. I mean, they're like, they're like, oh, Facebook, time out. That was a foul. Someone posted something mean on Facebook. Kick him out. It's like the same people you see at the club tapping the bouncer on the shoulder. Hey, hey, uh, the table over here is being a little too loud, and they spilled a drink on my loafer, and it's Gucci. Get them out of here. Like, first they complain to big government, then they complain to big tech. This is a rambunctious country, Dagan. Th these are passionate people. We have freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. This is how this country's always been because we care about life. And you can't just all of a sudden start teaching kindergartners racism. And then when the parents pick it and post something, you can't run and hide and say, they're trying to kill me. Lock them up, censor them. It's not how things work. These people need to get together, stop acting like children, act like adults, talk to each other, learn from each other, and just finish the school year like normal people. But, Brian, they also have to worry. This has gone further with Merrick Garland essentially sickened because of that National School Boards Association memo, which, again, we found out that the Secretary of Education, Cardona, requested the original letter. It's this, this circle of uh, targeting parents. Again, Merrick Garland, the FBI, and the DOJ going after parents. And just what, in the last few days, the Justice Department announced it's forming a new domestic terrorism unit. Who do you think they're going after? Yeah. Mama and Papa. Well, I really, yeah, I really believe that the, the whole Virginia situation uh, didn't get out of hand because the media, uh, we would not let it go right. because we just exposed it. We show the video and say, this has got to stop. What exactly are they saying? But my advice to the parents is don't make it easy. Don't lose your temper. Write some points down. You probably have good, solid points. You're certainly passionate. Ian Pryor is a great example of it. He's a teacher. Excuse me. He's a parent that saw the teachers were, out, uh, were off the reservation. So he organized the parents to fight back, and that started this whole movement. It was organic. It was real. And I would just say this. Get the kids back in school is the overarching thing. It looks like kids are organizing. They're making their own demands. That's the new trend. And in New York City, Mr. Mayor, do not cave to the unions. Cases are down from 90,000 to 30,000. Keep the kids in school. Even if it's 10 kids, do not break and go back to the virtual schooling. Harold? I don't disagree much. I do. I did take a note that Jesse must have had a bouncer tapped because he spilled something on somebody when he was in a bar one time. But Why? short yeah. of that, I, I do think we, we, we ought to be more focused on teaching critical English, critical math, critical yep. science in our schools. I, I, I've said it many times, if you want to show a politician that he or she is wrong, unelect them, don't, don't impose violence or threaten them with violence. I think that is a line that should not be crossed. Uh, but big tech's going to gonna have to balance this one out and measure how they get involved because um, parents but a, certainly a should be shouldn't involved be crossed. in big tech. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you, but a line that shouldn't be crossed as well is these big tech companies shouldn't be willing to silence these parents. And believe me, the teachers unions are doing this because they believe they have a sympathetic ear and the big tech companies have shown a willingness to silence these parents speaking up. You mentioned Ian Pryor. He said, quote, this looks like a concerted effort between the federal government and these outside groups like the NEA and the NSBA to interfere with the First Amendment rights of parents. Uh, he's, he's, he's fighting the fight and he's telling parents to stand up. The parents know, though, they don't need Facebook and they don't need Twitter or TikTok. They 
they do old school signs and go and stand out in front of their kids' school and the cameras show up. And that's how the American people realize and parents everywhere from coast to coast realize they're all in it together. And, they're, and these unions are all trying to get one over on them backed by the Democrats, which Jesse's talked about. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.